Well, hey, good morning, everybody. Pastor Matt Nichols here, and we are within our time of seeking God through daily communion, and it is a joy to be with you. I hope that you're enjoying this and, and really having a revelation of God's love for you. I want you to take out your Bible to Matthew chapter 26. We're going to pick it up in verse 26, and we're talking about the process that Jesus uses when he gets a hold of a loaf of bread, and we're kind of comparing ourselves to that loaf of bread. And so we're at the Last Supper, Matthew 26, verse 26, and this is what the Bible records. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed and broke, and gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. And every time Jesus gets a hold of a loaf of bread, almost every time in Scripture we see he does those four things. He takes that loaf of bread, he blesses it, he breaks it, and he gives it. And this week we've been focusing on that as an analogy of how God handles our life. And we've already covered the taking, the blessing, and the breaking. But ultimately, what God wants to do with us is to give us. You see, God has a plan for you and me. You were created with a purpose in mind. You were created with spiritual giftings. You were created in a, such a way that God puts you in the time and the place you were to be born and knowing the personality you would have, knowing the giftings you would have, and giving you a purpose for the years that you have on this earth. And you see, when we go through that breaking, there is a purpose for the pain. When you go through a delay, you're believing God for something, but it just feels like it's delayed. That is not your denial. That is simply part of the breaking process. But the ultimate end game of that breaking process is, God wants to give you. It is such a joy to be able to be on this side of the victory of a trial or a circumstance or a situation. You know, many of you have heard my testimony about how we had years at a church in a cornfield, and even though we had a vision to touch the world, we couldn't get more than 10 people to come to our church. And you know, we just, even though it hurt so bad and we felt like failures and so many negative things, the ultimate end game of God was to break us so that he could give us. I would never want to go through that time in the cornfield again, but I thank God for that time every day of my life now because that breaking prepared me for the giving. And when you're going through a circumstance in your life, the breaking, and it may be hard at the moment, but there is a purpose for the pain that God's end goal is to get you through it. And then you're going to use that experience. Sometimes we say the same ropes that the devil had you bound with are the same ropes that God is going to use in your life to set other people free. So as we partake of communion today, let us thank God that his end game for us is to give ourselves for others, emulating our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us on Calvary. So let us eat together today. Our dearest Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving your Son, Jesus. And Lord, as we partake of this bread today, we are revering Jesus Christ and his perfect work on the cross. Jesus, thank you for giving your life for ours. We may eat. And Jesus, thank you for pouring out your blood that you gave yourself for us that we may have eternal life and the remission of our sins. We may drink. I will see you tomorrow.